Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to Entrepreneurial Finance. Business angels versus venture capital. Now assume a situation, you built your business, you started the business, you found an angel, he invested in your company, now you need more money. Can you get that from, from, from the same business angel or other business angels? Maybe the amount you need is too high for the angels, for private individuals. And then it's worth looking into fund structures. Let's take a typical example, which is Facebook again. And we already said Peter Thiel was the first investor into Facebook. Mark Zuckerberg uh, started Facebook in 2004. And in mid-2004, Peter Thiel invested $500,000 into Facebook. So he was the first investor. A very uncertain situation. Nobody knew this guy. Nobody knew whether this is going to be successful. Although many, many other social platforms started and so on. But the company developed successful, needed more money. So then when it came to higher amounts, a venture capital company came in, Excel Partners. And Thiel went along, so he invested some more money. But most of the money was put in by a more elaborated fund structure, by Excel partners, by, by people who put their money together and invest this out of a formal organization. So this is a typical example for a more hybrid round where a business angel puts in some money and a more formal organization puts in some money. And this story is going on. So Greylock Partners, this next one is going, are going to put in money, which is again a venture capitalist, but not only Greylock, but Microsoft, for example, also invests money into Facebook. So it's, it's, it's again a mixture of venture capital investors, strategic investors. When it came to higher and higher amount, it was a question for more institutional life funds, but also for strategic investors. And in the very end, in May 2012, Facebook went public and it's brought about 20 billion US dollar. Um, Facebook being valued at 104 billion US dollars. So with this IPO, it put it, it, it money came into the company, but also gave all the other investors before the chance to exit that company. But there you can see a typical development. You start with your own means, Mark Zuckerberg at the Harvard dorm, and then you have an angel investor putting in some money, which is quite a large amount, 500,000. And then you have more institutionalized investors, formal equity funds, and then strategic investors, and finally the IPO. Um, this is to some extent also the dif differentiation between private individuals putting money in because their money is quite limited. It might be half a million, it might be a little more, but money is limited for them. Um, venture capitalists can put in more money. And um, also looking at angels a little more, angel relationship to an entrepreneurial company is normally very, very informal. Informal in that way, it is not important to have control rights or information rights or something like this. Business angels don't need that because they don't have to report to their own investors. Venture capitalists, on the other hand, they need control information rights because they have to report also maybe on a quarterly basis to their investors. And this is where they are, the information rights come into place. So if you... Normally, the main saying is if you need more money, then you have to go to subsequent investors. And these subsequent investors also have some kind of different behavior. And if you look at that behavior um, again, a business angel is normally the one who is well connected. This is, um, is uh, the network aspect. He uses his own money, so he doesn't need the reports. And he helps you building the company. A venture capitalist plays a different role. He might help also building the company, but his role is more in providing capital and growing the company, making this company a lot more, a lot bigger, for example, in, in, in giving the possibility with the money to expand a lot more. 
On the other hand, they need board seats, they need to be on board because they need the information rights and so on. So if you compare those two kinds of investor uh, business angels, they do it at very early stages where it is very risky, uncertain. They have a comparably rapid decision making. It's a relationship based off on fun. Um, and it has to be a personal relationship of, uh, to the founders. This is not that important with venture capitalists anymore. The relationship gets more professional, but they need more information control rights like a board seat. And they might bring in, besides money, a different network and also some exit expertise, which you can also always see with these examples like WhatsApp and Sequoia being backing WhatsApp because they have good history in good or interesting exit. So at the very end, it depends on what you're looking for. But when it comes from an angel to a venture capitalist, you have to take into account that venture capitalists act a different way. And this is why it is worth looking into venture capital a lot more.